This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. All right, Darren, what time is it? Darren? Darren? He's not responding. Darren? OK, fine. Um, it's time to check port 110. That's what he says, right? Right? OK. So Hamish says, my school has an online interface used for all sorts of administration and student organization. Recently, parents were given access to this interface. They can access medical information. That's weird. Parent-teacher communications, custody agree agreements, disciplinary information, and other private details. Parents were given login details on a note given to students to be handed to the parents. If that isn't insecure enough, it is clear to see that the password was the last four digits of the home phone numbers, and all usernames are already easily accessible through this online interface. In other words, all students with half a brain can easily access in private information of other students. I really want to inform the school of my concerns, obviously. However, I don't know how to do it. If I'm, out, if I'm too soft with it, I know nothing will get done. However, if I push it too hard, I will shut myself off from advancement and leadership opportunities within the community. Now, Darren, what have you got to say to this nice young Hamish? Darren, mm, your toy just fell. Well, you bring up a really important point, and this is nothing new in academia. In fact, if this weren't academia, I'd say go ahead and take the re route of responsible disclosure. You know, give the vendor, in this case the school, ample time to fix the problem before ever talking about this publicly. Uh, that said, it's a totally different ball of wax when it comes to schools. Uh, in many times, they decide to shoot the messenger, and that's not what you want here. So I would say give it some time before you want to tell any of your friends that won't be as... You know, potentially as responsible as you are with this information, but two, I would say, is probably a good choice to anonymously send this to the administration. And if you look around the, uh, the net, you're gonna find so many different ways to do anonymous email. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest things. So just Google around for that, uh, and that's probably your best bet as to be able to solve the problem without drawing too much attention to yourself. Good luck, and uh, thanks for writing in. Cheers. Got an idea for a new business? Want to publish a blog or a portfolio? Domain.com is the best place to go. You probably need to register a new .com domain name for that new site. A .com domain name is the original. It's globally understood, immediately gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. Plus, if you want to invest in sell domains, .coms have the highest aftermarket value. You can find the perfect name at Domain.com. Darren and I use Domain.com because they're affordable. They're reliable, easy to use. They're on social networks like crazy, like on Twitter at Domain.com, and their great customer support makes it a really fun place to do business. So the guys at Domain.com, they want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. You can get 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code HAK5 at Domain.com's checkout. That's 15% off and use the coupon code HACK5. When you think domains, think Domain.com. Now it's time for the Technolash photo of the week. That's how I imagine that Darren talks if he's a monkey. So this is from Mr. Josh. He says he just got his pineapple in the mail, and he and his buddy have been making some hack salad with them. That sounds delicious, and I'm kind of hungry right now, so thanks a lot. And you can send your photos over to feedback at hack5.org at any time with the subject line Technolust. And now it's time for trivia. Take it away, Shannon. This is so much fun. <laughs> now, last week's question was, an emergent microcooling solution that operates similarly to conventional heat pipe tech is known as what? And the answer is NanoWick. This week's question is, built by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, the EFF in 1998, and nick nicknamed Deep Crack, this machine is able to crack a 56-bit DES key on average how quickly? Ooh, a little bit of math for you guys. You can answer that over at hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some swag. And now, as usual, we do value your feedback, so email us over at feedback at hack5.org. Let us know what you think of the show. Let us know if you like Darren the Monkey and what else you would like to cover. And don't forget, you can always follow everything that we do at hack5.org slash follow. You can find links to all our social networks and what's going on over there. You can find out about what Darren's doing all 
over in Europe. And if you don't like what we're doing, you can tell us that too. And if you like what we're doing and you want to support us directly, go over to hackshop.com. Sarah takes care of everyone over there. And check out our new show, threatwire.org. That's where you'll find all sorts of information about internet security. And for Darren Kitchen and myself, last but not least, trust your technolist. Isn't that right, Darren? Trust your technolist. Thanks, Darren.